Hey there and welcome to the Nowdemy video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss the for loop in JavaScript. The for loop is the most compact form of looping. It includes the following three important parts. Initialization, where we initialize our counter to a starting value. The initialization statement is executed before the loop begins. The testing statement, which will test if a given condition is true or not. If the condition is true, then the code given inside the loop will be executed, otherwise the control will come out of the loop. The condition where you can increase or decrease your counter. And then here you can create your message, whatever you want. Let's do it with some code examples. So I'm going to create a variable called sum initially equals to zero and call a full loop. Create a y variable initially equals to zero and check if i is less than or equals to 50 if it is less than 50 then i will plus plus and it will increment it by one and each time the value inside i will have to plus or uh, add it to the sum variable so we will call this variable inside a function called alert with some string concatenation the variable sum that contains the result and the result is 1275 so what is happening over here i have a for loop and i have a variable called i initially equals to zero and it is checking over here that I, if i is less than 50 then it will increment it by one and each time if this i is less than 50 then it will be uh, added to the sum variable first time it will check i is less than one and uh, yes i is less than 50 because it contains 1 for the first time so i is less than 50 yes it is less than 50 so it will increment itself by 1 the second time it the i will contain 2 4 so it will check 2 is less than also 50 so it will increment again itself and so on it will keep incrementing itself by 1 until and unless it gets the condition that says i is greater or equals to 50. Once the condition is met, it will stop repeating itself and end the loop. So let's do another example of the for loop by an array. So I'm going to create an array list that has some people's name. So I'm going to create another variable called text that will initially empty. For the for loop over here, create a variable insert it and it will be initially equals to zero check if i is less than users dot length that is actually an array and i will be incremented by one and the result will be contained by the text variable for the i that contains the current value of the users array i want to display this result document dot get element by id i've mentioned a paragraph take over here that has the id that name is demo i will call this demo id over here the inner html is any paragraph html content of any thing and i will call the result over here i will put a br take over here for the line break purpose So here is the result. So let's see what uh, we are doing over here. We have created an array of some people's names, Zoha, Zora, uh, Zoya, and Sam, so on. And we have an empty variable uh, text, and we have a for loop that is a variable i that is initially equals to zero, and it says if this i that has the zero value is less than this user's length, that has the length of one, zero, one, two, and three. If 0 is less than this 3 length, then it will be incremented by 1 and the result will be stored to the text variable and we call users array that contains the current uh, value of this array. For the first time, it will contain i and Zoya and Sara and so on. So this is a simple example of JavaScript for loop. Thank you for watching. See you again.